at a, at a simple level, it could be argued that some tox bacteria produce small protein toxins which actually destroy healthy tissue. And it's this effect we thought we could maybe exploit in our early warning detection system in our dressing. Toby demonstrates how this bandage works using the closest thing we've got to human skin, pig skin bought from the butchers. All right, so what happens next? OK, we're going to infect our skin with two strains of bacteria. One is a, is a harmless strain of bacteria. And then here, this is a toxic strain of bacteria. This is actually an MRSA strain. OK, we're all familiar with that one. Yeah. That causes some serious infection. Yeah. And we're going to take our prototype dressings, like you see here, mm -hmm. and we're going to place these onto our infected skin. So how long do we have to wait until we, we see a result? Really, within minutes, we should be seeing a response. The dressing is made from minuscule hollow nanocapsules filled with a fluorescent dye so we can see what happens under UV light. Oh, wow, look at that. And it then, couldn't be clearer, could it? There you see, this is our toxic bacteria. It's, it's caused our dressing to fluoresce yep. and green there. Yeah, and this one is absolutely right. fine. Yeah. So this is indicating toxic bacteria, infection present. And it's this signal that would alert doctors to change the bandage and treat the infection. So what exactly is happening to make your bandage fluoresce? OK, the, the MRSA strain here, in common with many other toxic Staphylococcus aureus strains, is producing toxins. And this comes along to our nanocapsules and drills holes through, through the membrane. And that allows for the dye to come out Fantastic. It's so clever and so simple in, in one aspect of it. It almost makes you wonder why no one, nobody thought of it before. 